What you just heard was this, Martin, triple O, 28. The first thing you heard was it being picked up by a high quality microphone. Then you heard the direct out of this guitar, an LR Bags Anthem SL system. And then you heard the direct out with an impulse response applied to it. It is amazing how much better the acoustic IRs make the direct output of an acoustic sound. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the Triple O 28 Acoustic IR Pack, available from Worship Tutorials. Link is below. In a nutshell, these acoustic IRs can make the direct output of your acoustic sound more like a mic'd guitar and sound a little bit like this mic'd guitar, which sounds fantastic. So a few things up front, and then we'll get into a little more about how everything works. Uh, these impulse responses are designed to work with a wide variety of acoustic guitars. So if you have an acoustic guitar that has a pickup system built into it, uh, they'll probably work for you and they'll probably make everything sound a lot better. We've designed them so that they will work with a ton of different pickup systems. Every acoustic is a little different, a lot of different pickup systems out there, but we've built a ton of versatility into this pack to make things sound better for you. So I wanna show you how these impulse responses sound with a variety of guitars, several different guitars with different pickup systems. Everything from high-end acoustics to more budget-friendly acoustics, high-end systems to lower-end systems. This is my Martin D35. I love this guitar, I've had it forever. It is a high-end guitar and it has a high-end pickup system. This is an Anthem system, not an SL, the full Anthem. So you can blend it either full mic on the Anthem, which is under the soundboard, or full piezo. So I wanna show you what the IRs do to this guitar. First, I'm going to use the Anthem in the full mic position. I'll play it so you can hear the direct output, and then I will apply an impulse response to it, and uh, you can see what it does. Next, I wanna show the piezo. Now, uh, the piezo that's built into the Anthem system under saddle piezo, it is an LR Bags Element piezo, which is a very common uh, piezo pickup. So this is the kind of pickup that's gonna be found on a lot of different acoustic guitars. So again, we're gonna hear just the direct output, and then we're going to apply one of these impulse responses to it. This is a Taylor 414 CE. It has the ES2, the expression system from Taylor. We have a set of these impulse responses that of course comes with the pack. This is specifically designed for the expression system. Again, this is an example of a higher end guitar, but a lot of uh, Taylor models, everything from the, the 100 series all the way up, are equipped with the expression system. So these impulse responses are gonna work great with anything expression system from Taylor. So we're gonna hear the direct output of the 414, and then we're gonna put an impulse response on it. This is an orange wood, let me get it right, Brooklyn Live. This is an example of a much more budget friendly guitar. It's actually a really great guitar. We did a full review of the Brooklyn 
In that review though, I talked about how the pickup system that's built into this is not my favorite. Uh, it's made by Fishman. Fishman, you make, you make good stuff. I've experienced some of it. This is not an example of one of those products that I like. So piezos are not my favorite pickups to begin with, these undersaddle piezos. And this is an example of a very budget-friendly piezo system. So we're gonna show you the direct output of this guitar. It's probably a sound that you've heard before, because if you listen to a live stream of any church, the acoustic kind of sounds like this a lot. It's kind of gross. Uh, and then we're gonna apply the impulse response to it. I think, now these impulse responses are kind of like magic. Uh, in this case, it's really like magic. It makes this guitar sound so much better. Uh, I'm really excited for you to hear this one. So now that we've heard how these impulse responses can transform the output of various different guitars to make it a little more like this one, let's talk about this guitar. This is a Triple O 28 from Martin. This body style, the, the Triple O refers to the body style and the scale length of the guitar, and the 28 number refers to the materials that are used to make it and how it's sort of adorned. So Triple O, means uh, the sort of the smaller bodied acoustic with the narrower waist. That's this section from here to here. Also the scale length of the guitar is determined by the triple O size. The 28 from Martin means uh, you've got a solid spruce top, solid rosewood uh, back and sides. Uh, the, this type of an inlay here, you've got binding on the front and the back of the guitar. The 28 series, like the, the D28, triple O 28, these are some of my favorite guitars uh, from Martin. It's a recipe as far as tone goes with materials that just sounds really, really good. The spruce, the rosewood, um, it's a classic, classic design from Martin. Now, what happens with the triple O body style is you get a much more balanced response, which makes it ideal for a lot of different playing styles. So it's great for finger style playing, it's great for strumming, it's just super versatile and it sounds really good playing most any type or style of music. Another thing I love about the Triple O 28 is that it sits really well in a mix. Sounds great on its own, sounds great with lots of other instruments as well. And that kind of comes from the fact that it's got a pretty prominent mid-range response. Uh, so again, you don't have like accentuated lows and highs. Uh, it really lets those mids sit just perfect. And the magic for the guitar is in the mid range. I'm telling you. So that's what you're getting with a triple O 28. And that's sort of the sonic signature that gets imparted into these impulse responses that then uh, you can get with the output of your guitar. Now you don't have to play a triple O style or an OM style orchestra uh, style guitar to get this sound. These impulse responses will work with guitars of any, uh, acoustic guitars of any size and shape and sort of give you this sonic characteristic applied to the direct output. Now this impulse response pack contains something a little special that we haven't done before and it's based on my favorite, one of my favorite at least, miking techniques. It's called a Stereo XY miking technique. So to pull this off, we're using these. Uh, this is a Telefunken M260 small diaphragm matched pair uh, of mics and you can use them to get a Stereo XY mic setup. Now to do that, you would take these two mics, put them in an XY configuration, and kind of sit them here in front of the guitar. And it, what it does is it mimics the way that our own ears hear an acoustic if you're sitting in front of it. So you get sort of this stereo spread of the whole guitar. It is a fantastic sounding uh, mic technique, and these microphones are 
amazing. I really, really love the way these sound. Uh, they're serial number 2086 and 2087. That's pretty cool. All right, so what we've done with the impulse responses is we've delivered three IRs based on these mics. So you get one labeled M260 pair. That is a, a mono sum of the stereo miking technique. So it's one IR that includes sort of the, the, the sonic characteristics of both in, in one impulse response. Then we've given you one called M260X and another called M260Y. And that is each one of these individually in their XY setup. So you can use any one of those three as a single IR. But the magic is if you can load two IRs in stereo, so if you have a Line 6 Helix, for example, any HX product, you can pull in a stereo IR block, pull in the M260X and the M260Y, pan them hard left and right, and now you've digitally recreated on the direct output of your guitar this stereo XY setup. As I was sort of developing this, uh, I, I made these impulse responses. I wanted to try them live. So I, I went to church and I said, can I go stereo on my acoustic today? And the sound guy was like, okay. And I put them on and I said, I got something I want to try out. I turned it on and immediately. He was like, yes, that is better. The real magic was happening in my in-ears though, because live I was getting this stereo studio mic technique happening on my direct guitar tone live. I'm gonna demonstrate for you exactly what this sounds like. You're going to want to put headphones on because you need the stereo spread for this. It's pretty cool. I want to take a moment to talk about exactly what you get with this pack. So you get 70 impulse responses. Now, each one of those comes in multiple different uh, file types. Uh, so there's actually technically more than 70, but 70 IRs. Now that is spread across seven different pickup types. So the pickup type is referring to, you could think of it as you wanna match the kind of pickup that you have in your acoustic with the pickup type of the IR. Three of them are labeled SB. Those are referring to soundboard type pickups. So uh, when we say soundboard, what I'm talking about is anything that's like mounted to the bottom uh, the the soundboard of the guitar so that would be like an lr bags anthem the mic portion of the anthem k and k pure western technically the the expression system from taylor is a soundboard type of a pickup um anything that's like under the soundboard of the guitar these are kind of higher ends they sound better in my opinion so we've given you three different sb options for each ir so sb1 sb2 SB3, they sort of all have different sonic uh, qualities, characteristics to them. Uh, there are three different options for piezo pickups. Piezo pickups, piezo pickups, if you say it wrong, but that's what we're talking about. The piezo pickups are these under saddle pickups. They sit right under the saddle of the guitar. They don't sound good, in my opinion. I really don't like piezo pickups, but they are the most common pickup type in acoustic guitars. So if you don't know, like if you think to yourself, I don't think my guitar has a soundboard type of pickup, it probably has a piezo built into it. So we've given you three different uh, piezo options. And then we've given you the expression system option for Taylor's as well. So that's seven different pickup types. Now each pickup type has 10 different microphone options. So the microphone options are made from the following microphones. We're using a Telefunken uh, TF51. That is a, a sort of a, a 251 style microphone. 
a uh, Telefunken TF47. So that's a U47 style microphone from Telefunken. And then the, the M260 match pair, which we talked about earlier from Telefunken as well. You get an Earthworks SR25 option. So that's a super accurate small diaphragm condenser mic. The, the 47 and the 51 from Telefunken are large diaphragm condensers. Um, and then we're using a uh, Universal Audio Sphere DLX. That is a modeling microphone. And so with the Sphere, we're able to model a few more really classic sort of unattainable type of microphones like a Neumann U47, a Neumann M49, uh, and uh, uh, an old AKG C12, uh, and uh, an old Sony C37, which is a really cool sounding microphone model. So uh, you get a lot of different flavors with microphones. Uh, the microphone options are going to be more subtle in their differences than the pickup options. You also get different file types with this download. So uh, we've given you 44.1, 48K, and 96K. And for each of those, you get 200 millisecond and 500 millisecond IRs. You get all 70 of the acoustic IRs uh, in each of those formats. So with all these formats, pickup types, microphone options, it can be a little daunting to choose what do I use? Where do I start? So here's the guide to how to pick the best acoustic IR for you from the Worship Tutorials IR packs. The first thing to do is determine what file type you need. If you don't know, I would recommend using the 48K 500 millisecond IRs. Those are the ones that are gonna be the most widely accepted by different hardware, different software. Uh, there are some pieces of hardware that are pretty common that require you to use specific file types. An example is the Strymon Iridium. The Iridium requires you to use 96K 500 millisecond impulse responses. So you'll need to use those with the Iridium. Uh, again, if you don't know, 48K, 500 milliseconds. So you've chosen your file type. Now, the next step is determine what pickup type works best with your guitar. So it's good to know what kind of pickup your guitar has in it. If your guitar has a, an LR Bags Anthem in it, start with the SB option. So this is what I would recommend. Take one impulse response mic option. Say you're gonna take the TF51, that's that Telefunken large diaphragm TF51 microphone. So take the TF51 IR from each of the seven pickup types, the seven currently in the pack, and uh, try them all out. What you probably will find is that one or maybe two of them sound significantly better than the others. So if there's one that sounds like SB3 sounds the best with my particular guitar. So now you know, SB3, that's the one I need to use. Then you can audition the different microphone types from the SB3 pickup options and pick the one that sounds best for you, or you can experiment. You can try the, the XY pair, you can try pairing, you know, you can blend like a 51 and a 260 together to get a large diaphragm, small diaphragm condenser pair. Uh, you can really, whatever sounds best to you is best. That's sort of the, the ultimate advice, but that's a guide on how you can choose which one works best for you. Finally, I wanna talk a little bit about how you can use these in a live environment. This is the Moore Radar. This is a tiny little uh, impulse response loader. There's a handful of these types of pedals out on the market. It'll run an IR. So if you have an acoustic board or if you usually just plug your guitar straight in to a soundboard, uh, you can just get one of these for like a hundred bucks and, uh, and, and load your IRs in this little guy and uh, it works great. If you use something like an HX Stomp, uh, any of the Line 6 HX modeling devices will run IRs, multiple IRs. You can do the stereo IR thing with your Stomp or Helix or Pod Go. I don't think you can do a stereo IR in part Pod Go, but you can load impulse responses. You can use them with a Strymon Iridium, an ACS-1. You can use them with Fractal hardware, Kemper. So anything that accepts a WAV impulse, w, uh, WAV is the, uh, the file extension, anything that accepts a WAV impulse response, which are by far the most widely used 
types of impulse responses. Lots of different hardware and software solutions out there, anything from Two Notes, for example. We'll load these so you can use them live, or you can, there's a lot of plugins you can use uh, that will load them. A lot of reverb plugins will load impulse responses. There are free impulse response utilities that you can download and use like in a DAW for uh, recording and making tracks and that kind of thing. Uh, and with all the file type options that we deliver, it's pretty wide uh, range of things you can use to load your impulse responses. Finally, impulse response, acoustic impulse responses are by nature a lot quieter than like electric guitar cabinet and speaker IR. So if you're using an HX Stomp or anything from line six, you know, a lot of you are using those that watch this channel. Um, you, you'll know that when you pull up the IR block in uh, the line six stuff, it defaults the level defaults to minus 18 dB, which is probably where you would leave it for a cabinet or a speaker IR with electric guitar. For acoustic IRs, you're gonna wanna bump that up to like zero dB. So it's quite, it's an 18 dB push. So acoustic IRs by nature are quite a bit quieter. So you're gonna have to boost level, uh, the output level of an IR loader or an IR block to get sort of unity volume when you turn it on and uh, turn it off. So just be aware of that. If you experience that super quiet, like you pull the IR in and all of a sudden it's super quiet, that's normal. Just turn the level up uh, till it sounds about the same level and you're good to go. Again, links below where you can download this acoustic IR pack as well as the other acoustic IR packs and the free sample pack that we have available at Worship Tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.